Molly Berry here, continuing my Project Zomboid Beginner's Guide playthrough. Today, we're going to try to gas up our getaway car, learn about proper wound care after an incident, clear a school for books and bags, and chase a clock on skill boosts. These are end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you die. Let's hold Q. Friendly. Friendly. Wave quick. There it is. Very nice. Welcome back, guys, to Molly's Zombie Adventure. The last time we left our friend, she uh, she had just found a car. And we want to find gas now. One thing I want to point out that I didn't talk about last time is... Uh, this is now our base. The one thing I want to point out real quick is that there might be gas in this in this car here. So we have the key to this car, and we have a gas can, an empty gas can in our inventory now. So we hit V. Oh, it's locked. Uh. Let's smash the window. Oh, frick. That was not smart. <laughs> All right, let's disinfect our hand. Oh my good golly molly. Why did I do that with my hand? Am I not equipped? Oh, I don't have anything equipped. Jesus, Miriam, Joseph. All right, well, that's fine. We're going to be worthless for... <laughs> okay, well, this is great. Okay, so make sure you have a, a weapon equipped in your hand before you, you know, break into a car. Plus, I don't even know if I needed to break into that car. I don't think I did. I think it just doesn't have any gas in it, which is why when we hit V, it doesn't come up to siphon it. So that's... I'm embarrassed. All right, thank you for watching the guide today. Uh, this has been Molly's Beginner's Guide playthrough. Uh, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. Please don't listen to anything I say. This is now just an experiment. It's a thought experiment. Let's drink this, all of it. Let's fill it up with water. Our busted hand. Unbelievable. Two things we need to do today besides not die from dumb injuries. Number one, we need to get gas for our car. Number two, we need to uh, find books. Because one of the one of the ways that we're gonna make ourselves big, bad, and strong and super amazing survivors is we're gonna we're gonna have better we're gonna have skill boosts for all of our skills. We have zero right now. Because <laughs> we haven't really been looting, we just went up the road. And yeah. So what we're gonna have to do. Oh god. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to of course that's my broken hand. Oh, look at how slow. Uh See if this is any faster. Uh, not really. This is bad, guys. We're going to have to make our way downtown. Walking fast. Face is past and I'm homebound. We'll stay in the backyard here. And what if... What if we get very lucky and we find a car uh, in these neighborhoods back here? Oh, there's cars right there. Perfect. We got a gas can on us. We're very, very tired, which is going to slow down our reaction speed. Mm, I hate this. I kind of hate everything about this, but it's going to be fine. Ow. Oof. Oh, man. All right, we're going to take some... We're going to take some painkiller. I think we have some painkiller on us. Wait, did I pass it? Oh, man. Hold on. Let's loot this guy. Grab the leather jacket. Ooh, let's take these vitamins right now. The vitamins should give us uh, a little bit of fatigue relief. Minus two. We'll just like take this whole bottle. We're taking the pills, making ourselves feel better. Yeah. All right. Listen, I didn't expect to injure myself right out the gate here. <laughs> this is Project Zomboid, all right? This is how it works. So as we take the pills, it looks like it's getting a little bit l lighter red, less terrible. I don't know if I may be imagining it. Might be imagining it. We're going to go to this medicine cabinet here and hope that there is a painkiller here. Yes. Amaze balls. All right. We're good. Mmm. Grab another bandage just so we have a clean one. Uh, sure. 
Got one. We're going to go loot some of these houses behind the fire station. And we're going to clear that group of Zeds very, 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 very carefully. Because when you're injured, this is actually really, this is really good. This is fine. This is fine that we did this. I did it on purpose, you know, because I'm a professional YouTuber and I just want to create this scenario uh, of, of which I want to speak, uh, about which I want to speak. Yeah, sure. We're going to, we're going to call it that, Malls. Um... You're going to injure yourself a lot. You're going to get scratched and bloodied. Um, a lot of times in these small garages, you will find generators and you'll find metalworking supplies and some better survivor stuff. You're not necessarily going to find that in an attached garage, though. Really, more consistently, you're going to find generators here. Generators are going to be really important. Oh, frick. Where? Where, where, where? Where, where, where? Where, where, where? I hear, I hear bad guys. Uh, but I don't see them. What the heck? Am I tired and I can't see them? Oh my god, there's one right there. Two? Yeah, this is gonna be bad. We can do this. It's gonna just be very difficult. I think I'm stepping on his foot, <laughs> so he's staying down. Oh, three hours later. Oh, God. This is fine. This is, we're just, oh, God. Oh, geez. Okay, realistically, we just need to get over here. See if this car is working. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, this is so bad. I'm very injured. We made so much noise with how long it took me to kill that guy. Oh my god, this is bad. Might be how I die, you guys. Stay down. There we go. Stay down. Please don't tell your friends where we're at. Just die peacefully. Oh god. Poof. Man. This is, uh, this is something. Take another painkiller. Malls, how did you get yourself into this predicament? You went from being on top of the world, first in your class in line of in, in line of succession to the throne of survivor mania. Jesus. Is there a window over here? What? Oh man. Seriously? Now oh, it's gonna be on this side. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Listen, I just want to get in here. Whenever I see these Places. Oh, perfect. Oh, and thread and maze balls. Whenever I see these garages, I'm like, okay, bet this is what we need. Duct tape is amazing. We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna come back later for that. You know? Did we look at these boxes? Can I not look at the one in the corner? Hello? Mm, suit pants. All right. Garbage bags you need for when the water turns off. E E A beautiful. Oh shit. Where? Where where where? Oh god, it sounds like a lot. It's only one. It sounds like a lot more than one. Shoving them down is so much easier. Aha, uh -huh, it's what I thought. Oh god. Sneaking. Why am I sneaking? Oh, God. Come on, dude. Hit him in the crotch. <laughs> so the whole entire block has heard me. I think that's what's happening. They're like, there's a party over there. All right, let's just hit V. So you hit V, you bring up the uh, quick menu. Just get this gas and run. Oh, malls. All right, it's on the left-hand side. <laughs> oh, this is fine. Oh, man, that's nothing. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, we got to watch the TV anyway. Oh, malls. Uh, I have a tool in my hand to remove the broken glass. We'll just hop in here. Ah! Oh, crap. Kill this person. 
We're gonna miss our TV show, dude. Killing me, Smalls. Turn on. Life and living. Tune in. Man, I think we missed it. All right. Ugh. So here's the deal. When there's TVs around you that are turned on, it gets it gets used, so to speak. So there's no um, there's no there's no not catching it. You got to catch it right at the time, otherwise you're screwed. Let's drink some water. Let's fill a water bottle. Okay. So we've got like a whisper of gas. That's like kind of better than being on fumes. Let's see what's in the kitchen. Real quick, easy. Grab this knife. Tomato paste. Tuna pineapple beans. Potato. Maize balls. Grab this kitchen pot. Tongs, frying pan, and spatula. Sure. We are now overweight. Stale and cooked. Uh, that's not great. I don't love that. Fresh lettuce in a beer can, yes. Grab all of this. Although it's like in the freezer, so it's not stupid urgent. Check what's in here. Always, I'm always trying to find a pair of scissors. Uh-oh. Let's get back here. Get back home real quick. Drop off this supplies. Put the stuff in the fridge. Sleep. Change our bandage. Change our bandage, then sleep. Ouch. <sighs> God. Um, okay, so I want to just point it out real quick that we we need to rest. It's not great. Uh it's not great what we're what we're sitting at right now. <laughs> We've got a completely injured hand. Uh we're tired as all get up. Ridiculously tired. So tired. So desperately inhumanly tired. Uh, we're hungry. We're heavy. I don't know if the exertion moodle is going to leave. We're just going to, we're just going to walk it out. In fact, I'm going to exacerbate it a little bit and run, but we have gas and we're going to have to actually rest up a little bit. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna have to rest up. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Let's drop some stuff. Rick. We're no longer heavy. Shh. Great. Getting blood all over the walls. But we don't really have a choice. We're just hoping not to draw their attention. Oh no. We might have drawn their attention. Let's go put... Uh, how many are there? Oh, there's a whole group. Okay, we can't do this. I was going to say... Um, I was going to say, let's put the gas in the car because it's a really good idea to just have a getaway car gassed up, ready to go just in case, but... We don't really have that luxury right now. We're going to have two goals now. Goal number one is, well, three. Goal number one, first and foremost, priority is going to be rest and get our injury healed. Because if we don't heal the injury, then we'll be screwed. Do I have soap on me? I think I have washing fluid and stuff. Let's go upstairs. God, I hope those de Zeds didn't. I hope they didn't hear me because that would be terribly inconvenient. This is like a bad time to have that big of a hoard to deal with. Not ideal. All right, let's put stuff in the freezer. God, I just hear all the noises and I just think this is it. That's it. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. All right, also in the fridge. I don't know why, but I'm like, uh, we can't, we can't freeze <laughs> the lettuce. What happens with frozen lettuce is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I'm putting the stuff back in this cabinet here for our sewing supplies, which is great. We have a full spool of thread. Once we get a tailoring book, uh, we can start some of that. I think I want to do survival supplies for building over here. Bam, bam. 
and be on duct tape, garage, or sorry, garage, garage, garbage. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. We're still very tired. I wanted to eat something, wash up, change my bandage, and then go to bed. Let's just wash all my clothes. Eat up time. Okay, eat some food. Let's eat half of this stir fry. Remove our bandage. Disinfect it again. And we put uh, alcohol wipes on it. And just like in real life, it's going to hurt. So we'll take another painkiller. And I think we'll wash ourselves. And then smoke a smoke. Go to sleep. Just about right. 11 o'clock at night. All right. Yeah, let's sleep it out. We were very tired. Wait, why are we sweaty? Oh, God. The nice thing is I know that this can't, I can't be infected because I got it scratched. <laughs> I got scratched on a freaking uh, car window. A dumb dumb. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, well, let's see about this bandage. Hold on, let's actually, let's clean our bandage real quick. And let's remove this bandage, see how we're doing. Okay. Put a bandage back on, and let's clean that one. Sweet. Just like, it's just like brand new. We're good. So the second, the second goal we have, uh, is gonna be... We want to get to the gas station, but we also want to get to the school. Oh, gosh. Where is the heckin' school? Did I just hear somebody screaming? Oh, God, it's foggy. Just need to go back down that road. Oh, no. Hmm. 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 I don't see anything. It's big. It's fog soup over here. There was a whole group of them over the by the car, though. Where could they be? Maybe they left. Mm hmm. Ugh. Eat this. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll go on foot to the school. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's make sure our bags are empty. And let's pack some food for the road. We'll be fine. We've got a machete that's mostly all the way up. And I think we can repair a machete with duct tape. So let's grab this duct tape. Uh, we got smoke sawdust, beta blockers. Oh, we got a can of beer. That's handy. Let's put this axe on our back. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to find books. We're also going to find backpacks, cool, which is really handy. Wait, what else do I have in here? I'm okay with food. I think I'm okay with food. It's fine. Do we have a can opener in our bag, just in cases? We'll get a can opener. I don't know why I'm sweaty. Only 71 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not It's not that hot. Oh, we'll grab, we'll grab a bowl. There we go. So, cool tip. A really cool tip, especially if you focus on foraging from early on. Uh, a little empty bowl in your bag. And you'll always have a source of food out and about with your... Uh, with your empty bowl, because all you have to do is forage. You'll find vegetables and herbs and whatnot. Uh-oh, that was it. Damn. Oh, I think I just ate half instead of a quarter. <laughs> I wanted to eat a quarter. Okay, we have to go right now. Crap, it's almost it's almost noon. Okay, we can we can make it down the road to one of the houses we cleared. I want to put this frying pan here. Oh, we got two of them. Ah, that's fine. We're running because we've got plenty of energy from that. Yummy stir fry we just ate. <laughs> right, well, let's be quiet. Let's be quiet for reals. Let's not let's not mess around. Okay. Ooh, it's clearing a little bit. We can see a little bit better. Oh, yep. They're right there. And there's still some jerks right there. I think. Oh, I don't see them. There they are, Molly. Don't worry. Don't you stress about it. We could just climb over this fence and go through the woods. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, they've wandered inside the perimeter. 
That's fine. He's okay. My, uh, my fully, my full food too also is helpful. They're going to be right here. What? Hmm. Ah, I see you. All right, we'll just sneak past them. Our goal right now is to make it to our starter house before noon. We'll just full on run. Let's just pass this. Do you guys remember this from like episode two and three <laughs> and four? Actually, this is a stretch of road. We're not familiar with this. Right, hopefully, uh, nobody will be here. Oh, of course, it's raining. Fine. I gotta catch my soaps. This is our starter house. Very fun. The first thing we did in the game. All right. We'll just rest. Not that we were bored, but now we're really not bored. All right. Most satisfying sound in the game. I gotta get that for my ringtone. <laughs> All right, pretty much 20 minutes after the hour is when it's going to be done. So we will turn that off, fill up our water bottle, grab this can opener just in case, and some spaghetti bolognese just in case. All right, so we're going to make our way down past these houses where we started, and we're going to find the school down here. School is one of those strategic places that you have to loot. And it should be a pretty high priority to loot pretty early to get skills. You should also try to make it a priority to try to get to the food places early. As you can find like fresh pies and donuts and all kinds of yummy things out in like pastry display cases and green grocery stores early. Um, I think it's like three days there are starting to go stale and rotten. We've already passed that threshold right around where everything's starting to, to rot out in the open cases. Kind of being a little loud, but hopefully it'll be fine. This, this is a school right here. Very close to where we were. This guy, I think, has a little backpack. A little book, book bag behind him. Let's actually bring him down the road a little bit. He's kind of being a little loud. And I still don't know about how my hand's going to do. Oh, it's much better. Amaze. I will grab this satchel. That's a problem. I have glasses. So we have a backpack now. It's going to show up in our little inventory here. We've got our main inventory, our key ring, and our, um, our satchel. We can put things in there that we don't need to carry with us at all times. Um, and that helps to relieve the the weight burden. So it does have a weight reduction, um, which is really going to affect kind of our, how we live our lives here. Um, we put things in here <laughs> in this garbage bag, if you guys remember from the first episode. <clears throat> so we can actually, we'll actually grab this on the way back. There's even a VHS in here. Um, really handy. Bandage we can put in our, in our satchel. A uh, beer can. We don't really need this. Let's put that in the car. Ooh, it's really coming down. Painkillers, beta blockers, and antidepressants we can put in our backpack and just grab those when we need to take them. And matches also. Alcohol wipes. Sweet. Oh, and cigarettes. So we're down to 12.27 out of 18, which is lovely. We are very sopping wet. But it actually doesn't really impact us too bad. A couple of groups of Zeds in here that we're definitely going to want to clear before, before we try to go into the school. And then we're going to have issues inside the school as well. Let's take this bandage off. I think it's healed. Yeah, it is. Perfect. So when, you're, when your injury is all healed, it's going to show overall body status is okay. Squat down and do a little pst. Okay. We got this guy. Got two of them. 
Sure, sure, that's fine, that's fine. You're much more effective. <laughs> you are when you're not uh, completely exhausted. And your hand's not injured. Injuries are uh, honestly... One of the times in the game when you just need to be very cautious and slow down. Slow down. Slow your roll. We're going to put that friendship bracelet on and we're going to remember that person. I would just leave these guys normally, but I kind of don't feel comfortable with a bunch of them out here. So we'll crouch down again and we'll go, hey, pss, 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 pss. Get, out of get out of crouch when you're, when you're entering battle and smack them. Hey, buddy! Oh, man. That should have gotten him. There we go. There's one. We have more than one, please? Just one. Okay, this sound of me killing this one should bring the others. There we go. Hopefully not too many. We'll get your blood in the sand! Ooh, what do you have? Oh, it's a butter knife. We're just gonna scroll out. I try to scroll all the way out when I check my six. And you can see if there's like a big group coming. Sorry, guys. If I had extra weight, I would rip up all the denim for my, uh, for my future endeavors in tailoring. Great. I might just, uh, oh, there's some bad, oh, god dang it. I was going to say there's bad guys in there, I think. Come on. Come on out. If you stand in front of the window or a fence, they'll come on, on top of you and you'll have an advantage because they'll be immediately like under your foot. Hello. Are you really not going to... Hello? Hey, buddy! <laughs> what the... Hello? Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, my God! <laughs> he totally debated me. Oh, my God. Oh, that made my little heart jump into my throat. Oof. When you scroll in your inventory, if you scroll away from your main inventory down to your backpack, it'll default uh, to that storage box when you, when you loot things, which is super handy. All right, I think I'm going to do this. We're going to remove both broken glass. And we're going to crawl through the window. And it's fine. <laughs> we're going to find scissors in here. Easy, hopefully. <laughs> oh, there we go. Perfect. Yay. So your scissors need to be in your main inventory and then you can, um, this is great. Uh, equip a secondary hand. So I'm using a one-handed weapon so I can also carry a backpack. So I got a little extra loot situation. I'm not really too, too worried about grabbing like books and stuff. Books are going to be one of the ways you can cure depression in the game. I love that about it because I personally in real life love to read books. So one of those little nods to like escaping into, you know, escaping into fantasy land. It's super fun. Uh, cooking three, I'm gonna leave that there because I need to get cooking one and two. We're gonna focus on one and two for everything except for uh, carpentry. We're already at level three for carpentry. Uh, so every two levels is one skill book. So skill book level one will be carpentry one and two. Skill book level two for carpentry will be three and four. Skill book three will be four, uh, sorry, five and six and on and so forth. So I just look at these two squares and I see one, two, three, four, five. So 
but that's what we're going to focus on. I always like to uh, unlock the doors, the exterior doors, just, I don't know, just in case I get like turned around and I'm outside, then I'm like running in a hurry trying to get inside. Um, all of these closet or these cabinets, uh, we have the potential of finding, like I said on the last episode, uh, food items. So our jelly donuts are stale. This is very sad. Stale, stale, stale. <laughs> Uh, we're going to eat this burrito. And also, we're going to eat these donuts. It's going to make us bored, but I don't care. Uh, Where is the library? Right down the hall here. Perfect. I think this person's in the library. This is very tiny. Cooking one, farming one, tailoring one, metalworking one. We'll put these in the book bag. Two. Annex volume two. I would say yes to the metalworking magazine. But we'll just read this. Teaches recipe, make containers, metal containers. Awesome. Read that. Hunting magazine makes snare trap. Oh, that's very handy. We'll cue that up and we'll fast forward time a little bit. You learn skills from magazines. Really, really handy. We're also going to keep an eye out for um, keep an eye out for the generator magazine, which is like super, super heckin' handy. This is working wonderfully. Engineering, um, how to make noisemaker. I guess that would be handy too. That would be handy right now <laughs> if I had a noisemaker. Draw the, the horde away from my car. I can take the horde now that I'm, my injury has been healed. Don't go out and try to fight with an injury, you guys. If you learn anything from me today, that hopefully take that away. Uh, fire magazine. Perfect. Oh, this is a big one. So there's a couple of big magazines you need to get. Uh, this is a huge one for long term. Long-term survival. It teaches you the mildew and the flies cure for your farming. So when you start making crops, start planting crops, uh, you'll start to see your produce get affected by pests. We're also looking for, the other magazine we're looking for is uh, I can, how to use a generator. That's a huge one. Probably one of the most important magazines in the game the most i would say the most important because if you don't have electricity then you are you are screwed you can't put gas in your car you can't put a generator out to a, a gas station and, and get gas later you can't can't do hardly anything <laughs> supply closet's great we should find some soap and stuff oh box of nails box of screws might be getting a little heavy at this point which is a little bit risky this is just our preliminary sort of lootage. Bada bing, bada boom. Bayou Tech Radio. Let's see. The emergency channel. Oh, we do. Okay. So the emergency channel is actually handy. Okay. Let's go home. We are quite encumbered. Grab a smoke. Direct moss. And head on back the way we came. We're bored, but this moodle will disappear. We're tired. Uh, I might just sleep the night away in our spare house down here and maybe set an alarm for early so that I can make the 6 a.m. TV before TV shuts off. Maybe do a 5 a.m. Let's grab this, even though, even though it's going to be very heavy. We're going to be very heavy. We're going to take some damage. So when you're over encumbered, you'll take quite a bit of damage and it's going to be uh like nearly impossible for you to fight so just plan on dropping it <laughs> i don't remember if there's a tv in this house go back to the starter house it's gonna make us very unhappy we're gonna be exhausted exerting us and it's injuring us we're gonna start breaking our bones oh my goodness <laughs> how do i always put myself in these predicaments get rid of the garbage bag all right beautiful okay this is what I'm going to do. We're going to turn the TV on. Let's do this. Set an alarm. 
or 5 a.m. Go to sleep. Yeah, sure. Sleep it out. Beep, beep, beep. You can click it off um, on your HUD up here. And now I have a 5 a.m. alarm. I should be able to turn it on every morning. Let's just turn that on so I don't forget. Okay, so I have time to read a book. <laughs> we'll just sit on the ground and let's read something, shall we? Oh, crap. Wait, what happened to my other... Oh, because I... Oh, that's why I got so heavy. Where's the other backpack? I guess let's read farming then. Hold on. I think I must have... Is it inside here? Wait, hello? Oh, man. That's why I'm all of a sudden not overburdened. All right, we're going to retrace our steps. Oh, I dropped it. When I jumped the fence, maybe. All right. Can we make it up the street and back in 30 minutes? I don't think so. Just full on run. Having a good time. Having a good time. Yeah. Gonna miss a 6 a.m. show. I for completely forgot. So silly. There it is. All right. When you jump over a fence, <laughs> you lose your bag that you're carrying. There we go. That's hilarious. All right. Let's try to... I don't think there's a TV in here. My goodness. Oh, look at these bushes I could chop down. Mm, I chose poorly. I think there maybe is one here, but it wasn't in that house. Oh, Mulliber. Hilarious. All right. Sit down. You're doing great. Cooking. One. Okay, we're gonna actually get cooking two right now. Probably. Maybe not. Oh, God. Ask your doctor today. Nope, we missed it. Crap. Criminy. Oh, man. Worth it? I don't think so. I should have just stayed in front of the TV. <laughs> then I could have gotten to... And it would have been beautiful. Oh, well. All right. We'll just turn this bad boy off. Grab our stuff. Oopsie. Very few, um, very few zombie spawns out here. Quite surprised. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Apocalypse is going to be, I mean, the default is urban, urban focused. So once we get a little later on in our lives here, and start pushing out to different areas of the map. We'll see in this in the city centers it'll be quite quite busy. All right, we're gonna grab this and we're gonna be over encumbered for our walk back. Oh shit. Okay. Change of plans. We're gonna drop everything. No 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 no. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. All right. This is where this is where we end it for the day. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to fight our way back to to our safe house and read some books and it'll be fine. It'll be great. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. And that's it for today. Now it's time for you to let me know how you feel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my video. Major thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. See you next time.